everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video i am going to be reviewing the new huda beauty foundation as well as the primer i am super excited to try these um i have high hopes for this foundation so as you guys know huda katan also known as huda beauty on instagram she came out with this foundation this is the faux filter foundation and this is supposed to be a super full coverage foundation so i'm just super excited to try this out i have this in the shade baklava 340g she also came out with a primer to go with the foundation and this is the complexion perfection pre makeup base primer if you guys want to see my first impression a seven to eight hour wear test as well as a full review on the new huda beauty faux filter foundation then please keep watching so we're just gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna start off with the primer and this is the complexion perfection pre makeup base primer and this is what it looks like i really like the packaging and i love that it comes with a pump I love when primers come with a pump as well as foundations. So yeah, this is what the primer looks like. Really, really nice. I'm just going to take a little bit on my hand. So this is what the primer looks like. It's more of that moisturizing type of primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead, pop this on my T-zone. Ooh, the primer feels nice. Oh yeah, I like the primer. It already feels moisturizing on my face. I don't know what it smells like. I can never describe scents, but it smells nice. I have the foundation in the shade Baklava 340G. So I swatched this a little bit and it is definitely a little too dark for me. But they were out of all the other shades, so I just have to go with this. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really, really nice and sleek and i love that it comes with a pump so as you can see i did swatch it a little bit i'm gonna put this on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face the consistency is not too runny as you can tell we are just gonna go ahead and dot this on the face i'm just gonna start with this side of my face first because i don't know if the foundation dries quickly so i just want to start with just a little bit just one side at a time Oh, one more thing guys, when you get the foundation, do not just throw out the packaging because there is a little primer sample. I was about to throw it out and then I noticed there's something else in there. I'm like, oh, what is this? And then I see it's the primer. So I think that's really cool that she included a little sample of the primer to, you know, try out and see if you like it or not. So do not throw out the box. So I'm going to do this side of my face with a sponge. So let's see. Holy moly. The coverage though. Honestly, the shade is, I think, good. It matches me pretty well. It's not too dark. No, 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 no. It's not dark. I lied. It's not too dark. Whoa. Okay, this is like insane coverage. This coverage is insane, guys. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I already like this so much better than the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I can't believe I'm saying that right now because I really like the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I've been using that a lot ever since I uh, did the video. Just gonna dry it down to my neck. I'm just gonna blend this out and then I'll tell you guys how I feel about this. It just covered up this pimple right here, like this. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So, first of all, this foundation blended like a dream. Freaking love it. And the coverage on this is insane. It is just crazy coverage. And oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful. Ah! It actually looks like you have a filter on this side and then I have the side of my face. It's like, eh. Oh my god. I'm literally freaking out right now because I think this might just be my favorite foundation ever. I'm gonna do this side of my face with a brush like I always do when I'm trying out foundations. 
Um, I need a little bit more, so I'm just gonna do one more pump. Let's dot it on first. She also came out with a brush, but I didn't get the brush. Now I kind of want to get it. Have you guys tried the brush? Let me know if you like the brush or not. It just blended a lot quicker with the sponge, so I think I'm just going to stick with the sponge. I like it with the brush as well, but you guys know I just love doing my foundations with a sponge. It's just a lot quicker. Why do I have so much foundation there? Yeah. I feel like all the foundation reviews that I've done so far on my channel, I've always liked the foundation that I picked up. Um, but this one is like on another level. This is just probably like the best foundation out there right now. Looks like you literally have a filter on your face. No kidding. And it doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey or look cakey actually. And oh my god, it's just super full coverage. I love it so much. And I am not over exaggerating a single bit about this foundation. Ops to Huda, clearly. She knows what's up. This is crazy. It honestly looks like I have a filter. I might just never want to take off this foundation. All right, enough talking. I'm going to move on. Um, what am I going to say? Tarte. I'm going to use my Tarte concealer because as you guys know, when I'm doing new foundations, I like to see if the concealer looks nice on top of it. And I'm sure it will. I hope, right? Because I love this foundation so much. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm glad that I went with this shade instead of going one shade down. Because this is just the perfect shade for me. Concealer looks amazing on top of this. The Tarte Shape Tape always looks good with any um, foundations, to be honest. So I'm not really surprised. But this foundation just blew me away. This is incredible. Wow, everything just looks so smooth, airbrushed, filter-like. I'm living for this right now. <laughs> wow. This is like my ride or die foundation. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding. This is so good. You need to pick it up. Okay. I'm going to read you guys the claims because I was supposed to do that earlier and I forgot. Um, even though I'm sure you guys can like go on the website and read it yourself. Let me do that for you. Okay. So this foundation is supposed to be medium to full coverage for all skin types, normal, dry, combination, oily. And the finish is Satin Matte Radiant Natural. That's what it says. So it says, a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter-like finish. Yes, it does. And then it says, packed with a high percentage of ultra-refined pigments, the full filter foundation visibly smooths and evens skin texture, diminishing the appearance of blemishes, scars, hyperpigmentation, and redness to create a flawless airbrushed finish. Enriched with argan oil and centella... Asatika, I'm so sorry, I do not know what that is, but it says both known for their hydrating properties. This fade proof formula blends seamlessly with skin, leaving it matte with a hint of sheen for a luminous appearance. I agree, actually, it's not super matte, it's kind of like that soft matte finish. It doesn't look flat, you know what I mean? Um, it still has that luminosity, and yeah, it looks good. Wear it alone for full coverage or blend it together with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base Primer. I'm really liking the primer as well because it definitely hydrated. I remember with the Fenty Beauty Primer, it did nothing. So when I went in with the foundation, one side of my face looked super dry and it clinged onto my dry patches. But then on the other side of my face, I decided to go in with my first Solly Oil because I saw the other side is just too dry. So I'm like, I need some kind of hydration. So when I had the oil underneath that foundation, it worked a lot better. But yeah, I think I definitely like this foundation a lot more and as well as the primer. 
So uh, the claims for the primer, it says it's a hydrating makeup base that creates a smooth canvas while gripping makeup and moisturizing the skin. The silky smooth formula of the Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base works to visibly blur the appearance of pores and fine lines and it smooths the skin for a fresher, longer lasting and more flawless makeup look. This pre-makeup base harnesses the benefits of Demethicone. I don't know what that is, known for its protecting and moisturizing properties as well as rosehip oil which is known to be high in antioxidants and highly nourishing for the skin. Oh, why do you know it had rosehip oil? That's cool. Together, these ingredients both hydrate and soothe the skin with a creamy formula. The Complexion Perfection can also be used as a lightweight moisturizer to leave skin soft and nourished without feeling oily. I love that she used ingredients that are really good for our skin. So I love that she took that into consideration. So not only did she give us a nice full coverage foundation and a great primer, but she also included ingredients in there which will help our skin, which is good for our skin. So I really appreciate that. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay you guys, so I'm done doing my makeup. Currently it is 12 15 p.m. and I'm just gonna try to wear this foundation for hopefully seven to eight hours. I'm also gonna be including mini vlogs so you guys can see how the foundation is holding up. So maybe I'll check back in with you guys in about four to five hours and uh, just give you guys a quick update as to how the foundation is holding up. Just to let you guys know, um, the contour, the bronzer and everything went on so nicely on top of this foundation so I'm loving it so far. So I really do hope that it holds up nicely throughout the day. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, so it's currently 5.15 p.m. And the foundation is looking really, really nice. I'm not surprised. I did not blot. I did not touch up. Nothing. I'm just sitting in the parking lot right now about to go um, inside Canada Post. Um, but yeah, so this is my first check-in with you guys. Um, I will check back in maybe around 7, 7.30 again, and yeah. So as you guys can see, can you see it? I am super impressed with this foundation. It looks so beautiful, and I love it. I'm just hoping that no one is watching me here. Just talking to myself. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like it. So I will check back in with you guys in about two to three hours again. Okay? See ya. Hey, you guys. So this is going to be my final check-in. It is currently 7.55 p.m. Whoops. I always press the wrong button. What's wrong with it's 7 55 p.m and i am gonna go ahead and take off this makeup but let me tell you i'm absolutely loving this foundation it held up so nicely um i did not blot i did not touch up at all throughout the day i think i can now because i am starting to get a little bit oily here on my cheeks um but not like I'm looking greasy or anything, just a little bit of oil coming through. But honestly, I don't mind because I don't want my foundation to be super matte. I like a little bit of luminosity and stuff. So yeah, as long as I'm not looking greasy, which I'm not, so I'm fine. Um, but yeah, it held up really, really well throughout the day and... I just absolutely love this foundation. I'm going to be using this so much. You guys have no idea. So I highly recommend you guys picking up this foundation, trying it out, because I think you're going to love it, especially if you're oily, if you're combination, you're going to love it. Even if you're dry, as long as you wear a hydrating primer underneath, you're going to love the foundation. And if you do decide to pick up the Huda Beauty um, primer as well, then you're going to be fine because that gives you a nice hydrating base. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. I already started as you can see at the back. So I'm just going to finish this off and yeah. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that this foundation did not oxidize on me, which is perfect. I'm so, so happy and I'm really happy with my shade as well. It matched so nicely. I was afraid that it was going to be a little too dark, but honestly, it matched perfectly the undertone is beautiful the shade is beautiful so yeah i don't have anything negative to say about this foundation it is amazing coverage is 
crazy insane you guys will probably hear me say that the coverage is insane like 50 bajillion times in my video probably I'm editing it right now and I already heard it like 50 times that I'm saying it's insane the coverage is insane so yeah which it is so so anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this video mm. 